Yo, Adam Saxon here from Gyna Cube, and we've got a whole bunch of stuff this week. Also, if it's your first time finding Gyna Cube, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date with all the videos from both Patrick and myself. With that, let's dig in. We've got a blog post from Matt Allington where he looks at compound growth using DAX. He starts out by showing examples of how to do this inside of Excel and what compound growth really is, including variable compound growth. And if you're dealing with interest rates or things of that nature, this could become very handy for you. So take a look at it. He gives some good examples of how you can accomplish this type of calculation inside of DAX. Reza Rad takes a look at how Excel and Power BI work together. So he looks at it as what can we do from an Excel standpoint of utilizing Power BI? And then also from Power BI side, how can we take advantage of Excel from within Power BI? So this is a really good kind of overview of what's available for both Excel and Power BI. So if you're a heavy Excel user, you may wanna check this out to see what can be done from a Power BI perspective. If you are using the Power BI mobile app, you are gonna wanna make sure to update to the latest version. One of the things that was introduced is the ability to drill down and drill back up from within the mobile app. And the way that they accomplish this is by rebuilding the tooltip inside of the mobile app. So be sure to get the latest version of it and take a look and let me know what you think. The links for this item, along with the links for all the other items in today's roundup, including bonus links down in the description below. So go check it out. Microsoft Build is right around the corner. This is a conference geared towards developers. Are you going to Build? Let me know. I'd love to say hi to you, meet you, and just hang out. I am going to be at the Build conference, primarily hanging out in the expo hall, so at the booth area for Power BI Embedded. So you can come say hi if you're gonna be there. Would love to meet you. But we are gonna have a bunch of people from the Power BI team there at Build and we're gonna have some sessions as well. So be sure to say hi to everyone that's gonna be presenting and hanging out at the booth. We would love to hear from you. The Build Conference will be taking place from May 7th to the 9th. It will be in Seattle, Washington. It is not too late to register. So I hope to see you there. USA Facts came out with a post this week talking about how they broke down spending for the government. And Steve Ballmer actually took part in a YouTube video that went out that walked through all of this and how they did what they did and talked about some of the numbers. It was pretty interesting. They actually used Power BI to do some of this. So check out the blog post I've got down below. It talks about how we use Power BI for this effort. And you can also check out the YouTube video for this as well that Steve Ballmer did. I thought he did a great job. This is specific to the United States. Obviously it's USA Facts, but if you're interested in numbers, especially government spending, and I know even if you're outside of the US, a lot of that's been in the news anyway, so you can check that out and see how they broke down numbers for a lot of different aspects. I thought it was actually pretty cool how they did it. All right, let me know what your favorite item in this week's roundup was. For me, I've gotta go with the USA Facts. I, I love the numbers. I love hearing about what the government's doing and how things are being spent and all the controversy that may go with that. It's my personal take, but I wanna pass it off to you. What is the item that you like the most? Maybe it was something I didn't mention. Leave it in the comments below and let me know. If you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and myself, thank you so much for watching. Keep being awesome and we'll see you in the next video.